Hi, I'm Keith Sutton from Portside Distillery. I'm the founding member here, started in 2011. We're Cleveland's only brewery distillery, and as a matter of fact, I think we're Ohio's only brewery distillery at this time still. My partner, Johnny, uh, and I were both in the same business in construction, and sitting around one day having a beer, we realized that we really didn't think the housing market was gonna bounce back like we hoped it would, and we decided that perhaps doing something completely different in our lives would be the way to go. We actually learned how to do this just by research and kind of looking online. Fortunately, uh, some of our methods were kind of uh, unique and interesting because we're also a brewery and one of the really cool things about how we make our rum is that we don't start our rum process with distiller's yeast. We actually use brewer's yeast. As a matter of fact, that's probably what makes our rum taste so different from the beginning. Brewer's yeast has a lot more natural esters and more floral aromas than distiller's yeast. Distiller's yeast kind of gives you just a neutral, very high punch alcohol finish. The brewer's yeast, when you're fermenting it, gives you all these really cool, complex, fruity flavors like banana and fruit. And we start all of our distilling process with pure cane sugar, which also makes us unique. And then we take that with the brewer's yeast, and once it gets to a certain alcohol level, we bump it up with some distiller's yeast. But the really cool thing is, is that those really nice fruity flavors are still in the product. Everything that we make starts out with a silver rum, which just happens to be my favorite rum just because of its natural purity. But as you said, we have a, a spiced rum, which we use and make from real spices. There's no extracts in here. We actually take a bag full of spices and put it into the uh, louder ton and let that steep into it for a period of up to two weeks sometimes to get those spices in there. The color itself comes from raisins. So there's a lot of really cool things. The, the vanilla maple is real vanilla bean and, and fresh, uh, just harvested local Ohio maple, B-grade uh, B maple syrup. So we have a real sense for locality. And then of course our uh, Christmas spirit uses the exact same spice recipe as our Christmas beers. So we tie that back into what we make as well. Raw honey, nutmeg, ginger. It's really a great little product and tastes uh, very unique. There's nothing on the market that tastes like what we make. There's so much that goes into each one of these bottles. You know, they're all hand dipped in wax. Every bottle's hand labeled, they're all hand filled. There's really not a mass production sense of how we do things here. It's all very, very small batch stuff. As a matter of fact, every bottle is hand numbered. So you're getting a bottle that's, you know, been through one of the owner's hands and, you know, hand numbered and goes into a box. So you're not getting some machine made thousand gallons. We only make about 650 bottles per batch of rum. So it's really whole, not a whole lot of bottles flying out here, but there's a good quality of it. 